Meteorologist Jessica Birch joins us now with a deeper dive into these atmospheric rivers that feel like they've been coming one after the other, Jess. I know, so let's just dive straight into it right now. Atmospheric rivers are essentially rivers of water vapor that are suspended in the sky that's pushed along by a strong, low-altitude wind, sometimes at hurricane speeds. Now, since the start of this year, California has been battling major atmospheric rivers that have caused devastation to many here locally in the Bay Area. And due to these storms, Storms, SFO and the Oakland Airport have already received more rain than what we would get during a normal rain season. And that means if we don't see a drop of rain until September, which by the way, it won't happen, but if that was the case, we would still be above average for this year. Now, the NOAA hurricane hunters have been hard at work diving into these atmospheric rivers, literally, to collect data. And these data collect points are actually improving the weather models that us local meteorologists use to forecast your weather. They fly eight hour long missions over these atmospheric rivers out in the Pacific, releasing drop zones, which are small instruments that drift down by parachute and measure wind speed and direction, water vapor, temperature and pressure. And that information is then sent to the Global Weather Data Hub, where weather forecasting models use this to create the next forecast every six to 12 hours. I had the opportunity to catch up with Sophia DeSolo, one of the meteorologists on the team, after her mission on on Monday night. Yeah, so these atmospheric rivers, they form deep in the Pacific Ocean where we do not have as many observations like we do over land. So when we collect this data, this data immediately goes into these weather models and it essentially corrects them or it essentially, um, it fixes them, right? Because you can't tell the future without knowing what's going to happen, what's happening right now. And not only are they improving these forecast models, but also they're collecting this data to be researched later. So how frequently has this team been up over the Pacific collecting such important data? We've been flying these storms, not only uh, the past couple of days, but the past couple of weeks. And even in last month, we were flying these storms. So we've had continuous data into these atmospheric rivers, um, filling the data void that's in the Pacific Ocean. And this data, like I said, not only goes into, into the models, um, helps in future research, but it also helps emergency managers and city officials uh, with water management and uh, decision making. Now, overall, this data improves predictions and reduces the precipitation forecast error significantly. This is going to help us here in the Bay Area with accurate warnings and emergency responses, too. Now, let's dive straight into the weather and what's going on today. We don't have atmospheric rivers pushing in right now, but we do have a cold front right around the corner that'll push its way in into the later evening hours tonight. Let's time the storm out real fast, starting off just up in the North Bay around the 4 o'clock hour. Notice how that band slowly sweeps its way into the Bay Area area around 730 hitting Santa Rosa, all the wine country and even up into the Sacramento Valley. It sweeps south into San Francisco as we extend into that 10 o'clock hour and continues to push down into the Santa Clara Valley as we wrap up the evening and head into the early morning hours tomorrow. Here's the good news though. After that, we are done with the rain. No more atmospheric rivers in the forecast. No cold fronts in the forecast. It's mild and it's dry heading into Thursday, Friday and even into the weekend. Now, Futurecast is showing about a tenth of an inch just on average throughout most of the Bay Area, about a quarter of an inch down in the Santa Clara Valley. But on the bright side, the Climate Prediction Center is showing near normal conditions for the next 8 to 14 days on our precipitation outlook, which that means a lot to us here in the Bay Area. We're drying up. We're going to see plenty of sunshine. I'm going to have more on that in a bit, but for now, back to you.